Hey, what's up, guys? I just made a crazy new P.E.K.K.A. Balloon deck to thrive on ladder. If you can survive until double elixir, because you've got a lot of splash damage, the rage of the lumberjack, and the freeze to stop all of your opponent's units from targeting the balloon, you will dominate. So let's go jump straight in some games and crush people. And a massive thanks to everyone that's using credit code Sir Tag. All the money goes directly back into the channel, making the videos better every single day. Getting into this game, if we win, we're only going to get like 25 trophies here. And this guy's pecking in the back at the start. Got a problem with that? A formidable foe. Whenever you see someone that crazy, you never know what they're going to whip out next. So we got to strive to survive so we can dominate and double with this deck. That is what I've learned. You're never going to get a good matchup in single elixir because your cost of your units is so heavy. Going in for a freeze plus balloon, that's all we're going to be all of your elixir. And you'll likely need a tank or a supporting card with it. Oh, you done messed up, eh, Ron? There's no reason for you to Electro Wizard so ambitiously at the start of the game, but that is what we wanted. We're able to overcommit on offense and single elixir because you overcommitted, and now I feel like I'm committed to the cause of offense. I really want to freeze right now, but I know that it's a bad decision. I know it's not a good life choice. So I'm going to wait for him to overcommit on the Electro Dragon, and when he does, and he doesn't activate King Tower, we're able to go head over heels with everything that we have. And there's no way for him to heal up the tower either, guys. He's likely going to go in for an Electro Wizard. He does not have Ram Rider back in cycle. So we'll see what happens. I think you're going to Electro Wizard and just get <laughs> absolutely destroyed and flummoxed by the freeze. That's going to be at least one hit, maybe two. If we get a Snowball and we get a second hit, that would be sublime. Give me it! Let's go! You went in for every possible defense, every sequence of events. But it wasn't enough, my dude. So, at this point of the game... We still haven't taken any damage. Our towers are clean. They are pristine. Then they are ready to pounce with the meanest pushes your opponents have ever been promised. I promise you that the P.E.K.K.A. is going to give you the pinky promise of damage in split seconds. Pinky swear. We're able to cycle her in the back in the same lane as your P.E.K.K.A. And I don't think that there's anything you can do besides go opposite lane, right? And if you go opposite lane with your Ram Rider, your best answer do all of our spam with the balloon is going to be out of cycle so i'm ready for it i'm here for it my dude i want to electro dragon but i don't know if he's going to lightning me or something yeah i figured that was the card because when you see snowball and barbrill most of the time they're gonna have lightning you don't want to overcommit. you want to be promising your opponent the potential of damage but you you don't want to uh give them the actual damage you want them to think that they can get the damage Okay, you're going to get the damage there with the back up. okay 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 just not another hit all right all right i get it you're a savage we can slow roll a P.E.K.K.A. here. I don't want to go into the Baby Dragon because that's an overcommitment. This is one of those situations that you know that your opponent's going to spam you like a savage. They're going to drop every single one of their cards again. If you Electro Wizards like that, then we want to go in for a Tornado to pull this back. And we're going to make sure that the Electro Wizard is going to uh, die really quickly to Skeletons. If you Lightning, I think we Lumberjack instead. It's just slightly better here. With the P.E.K.K.A. counter pushing the other side, I don't think you have any way of stopping this, bro. I just, I, I, I just don't think so. <laughs> that big mama bear is tanking and she's giving you the real scare gg well played and peace out it's not halloween anymore but that tower was spooked we had so much stuff on top of it so even if you play against a ram rider deck with lightning and you've got electro dragon balloon you're not gonna have any worries i gotta say i'm never gonna forget that electro wizard that was shredded in seconds to that pekka hey so getting into this one against roko we are gonna see what's happening what you gonna do my dude Please, spam into my P.E.K.K.A. or Tornado or Inferno Dragon. My deck is destroying people on defense. No matter what, it's all about the counter push. Okay, so he's going to go in for a Goblin Cage. I have to cycle the P.E.K.K.A. That is a 4 elixir investment and I need to respond. Oh no. Do I Inferno Dragon off to the side to melt the Electro Dragon even though he's definitely going to Tornado it? There's no doubt in my mind that that's going to get Tornadoed. Okay, yeah, there it is. I was like, the only chance that it isn't going to get tornadoed is if he doesn't have tornado in his deck. <laughs> Which, if you're not running tornado electro giant, I feel like you're just, you're fumbling right now, man. You're playing football, but you don't know how to play football. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> hey, is the P.E.K.K.A. going to be able to tank? The P.E.K.K.A. locks onto the tower or allows me to get a balloon through. That would be awesome. He might not have an answer because he just uses tornado. We could be okay here. We could be thriving. We could be in our element. I want to freeze this so bad. Please! One HP in a dream, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Balloon to the moon. You already know. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> we are going to have a spectacular game right now. 
I love the most insane games possible because, you know, I've seen a lot of stuff in Clash Royale over five years, but when you're in a 1-1 one -one situation, the fun is doubled. So, if you've got Archer Queen and that's level 14, I'm sad, but fortunately, that is not maxed out. Thank you. Even though it's level 12, it's still a really strong card. Okay, we can pull that to the, the King Tower right now. If you haven't done this before, it is sublime. It is sensational. Oh, he used the Tornado too. He's going to use the Undercover ability. Don't go FBI Agent Mode. Don't go FBI Agent Mode. No. Bro, <laughs> oh, we can't even motivate our P.E.K.K.A. to the next level. She's not even trying to do anything. She doesn't want exercise out here. Oh, you're going to have Lightning for sure. There's no doubt in my mind. But the Tornado is out of cycle. Wait. Without Tornado, we can go in for one of these. Oh, we made the prediction! We're making moves! We're making plays for days! The Inferno Dragon is alive and we are dominating. I think that a Tornado on our end would be spontaneous and not good. So all I need to do is stop him from 3 crowning me, which should be pretty easy if I go for a P.E.K.K.A. here. The Electric Dragon's resetting almost everything. We are going to be able to kill the Archer Queen soon, right? Yeah? Goodbye. Sayonara. See you later. See you never again. Okay. Balloon to the moon! Balloon to the moon, baby! Let's get it. Right here, right now. Our memes and dreams are fully formed. We're finally in fruition. I gotta make this happen. We're freezing. We're making moves. We're making plays for days. The Archer Queen is looking at the balloon, but she's not able to touch it. We got the moves! <laughs> and we are moving away from her as fast as possible. And after that win, we are 8,400 in the world. I'm gonna go for skeletons right out of the jump and make him think that I've got a fast cycle deck. And then when he has that perception, because that will be his reality, he's gonna spam right into a P.E.K.K.A., a Lumberjack, or a Double Dragons. Or if you wait till Double Elixir, it's even better for me. That's gonna be what we want. Don't cycle a single thing, bro, please. Your wish is my command. <laughs> One eternity later. All right, so he's going to go him in the back. First play. Let's go, baby. If I had Balloon, you already know we would bombard him like a madman. But I'm going to peck in the back, and it looks like he doesn't have any plans of stopping this Lumberjack. He has no plans. So you know what? We're going to freeze it at zero HP to take the entire tower. That was an eight elixir investment for me to take the tower, but I think it was worth it, guys. I believe that we can make it happen for the memes. So I don't want to Electro Dragon too early because there's a high chance that this man is either going to spam me or Lightning. So what we're going to do is we're going to Electric Dragon to the other side, use our P.E.K.K.A. in the left-hand lane, and get Profuse Value out here. The Inferno Dragon should be able to shut most of the stuff down, and with the Electric Dragon making sure that the E-Barbs don't finish off our tower, we're in a good spot. We just need to reset and relax. With 21 seconds remaining, if you guys wait till Double Elixir, and you get a matchup against a person that's running a tank deck, you will automatically win. There is no chance for this man to break through with 11 seconds remaining. GG, man. And that was almost too easy, but that's what this deck does. You get to double elixir or a triple and your deck dominates. All right, so we got a game against Ale. What is going on, my dude? We're gonna sauce out of good luck and you are immediately gonna go for wall breakers. So I can tornado them, but at the same time, I feel like I don't want to because there's a high chance that the guy's also gonna have minor and I've already dedicated my skeletons. I need to make sure that I have cost efficient answers to all of your bridge spam, my dude. You're gonna have a lot of bridge spam and we need some answers. So I'm an Electro Dragon with our Inferno Dragon. I don't think the Inferno Dragon even crosses the river. Oh, let's go. I can balloon. This is amazing. If we keep the double dragons alive and it locks onto the Musketeer, I feel like we have this. I think we got the moves. I think we can shimmy and shake with the Lumberjack and the balloon connection. No way. This is what I'm talking about, baby. Lumberjack is still alive. Going to give us enough damage to finish off the Musketeer with just one hit of the tower. Are you sure about that? Oh, well, maybe it's going to be two. I think it's two, actually. I, I was wrong. I was wrong. We take a hit straight to the face. Okay, I feel the pain and ramifications of my misplay there. We skeletons in the quick placement. We should be able to shut down all damage. And that's what we like to do. Plus one elixir trade. It's one of the most effective ways of shutting down wall breakers. Actually, I don't know any other way of stopping wall breakers damage with only one elixir. Okay, I'm going to P.E.K.K.A. I think that we're fine. Likely not going to be able to get anything from here because you're cycling your minions counter, right? Like you're cycling your bats. Oh, I said minions, but, you know, sometimes all those air cards, they're deceiving me. They're playing some tricks on me. I don't know who I am underneath, but what I do, it divides me. I can freeze and I can tornado your stuff closer to the P.E.K.K.A. too. What do we want to do? Oh, I'm definitely going to freeze. If we're able to melt the Mega Knight and keep the P.E.K.K.A. alive a little bit longer... That means we're able to definitely get some value with the Lumberjack and Balloon afterward. So, what I would propose 
is going for the Lumberjack here, waiting till double elixir, and then bombarding him with the Electric Dragon when you know that they're going to go for bats. I can't do it right now because you're looking at my elixir count and you're like, Jake, you're poor. You only have seven elixir. And I'm like, yeah, I know, dude. I can't, I can't spend it all. I want to spend it all, but I can't. So Electric Dragon's going to chain on to most of his stuff. That's great. Bats will definitely die. I could go in for a peck at the river. I think that's a decent play. We're able to stop you in your tracks and go in for the tornado here. Wonder if the wall breaker goes towards the King Tower. Nah, it's fine. I wasn't gonna activate King Tower anyway with the Electric Dragon, right? We'll freeze. Pekka's alive? Wait, there's no way that you can do anything to stop that. Pekka is gonna force out way more elixir than you need, and then we can go opposite lane with Lumberjack Balloon. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna Lumberjack Balloon. I have to hit him up with the tornado because he's gonna go bats. We should be fine. If we kill the bats, we're vibing. That's all we need. This is all we need for success. We are set up for success and we will make it happen for the memes. The marvelous memes are fully formed in fruition. No, we didn't get the last hit. I thought I won the game. Why is this closer now? No, dude, get away from me. Stop it, stop it, bro. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save my Lumberjack right now. Because if I go opposite lane with Lumberjack Balloon, I, I think I win the game. That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm vibing with here. <sighs> we choose you, Lumberjack Balloon. We choose you. Wait, wait, why would he cycle the bats there? Uh, why would he cycle the bats so adventurously? <laughs> this is awesome. Now I go in for the blue and I win the game. So that's all it takes. Your opponent making the one slight misplay and then you bombard them a double or triple elixir and then he's just sitting there with his hands in his eyes. He's like, why did I do that to myself? Why did I choose death? You guys already know with our deck because of all the splash damage, we want to wait until double or triple elixir. So, sir, oh, come on. <laughs> I wanted to relax and chill, but you aren't about it. So I'll lumberjack in the other side and we get a mega minion out of you. Wait. This could be phenomenal because the goblin cage is going to be out of cycle. His best way of pulling because you probably don't have two buildings and your mega minions out of cycle. Your best building. Oh, it's another one of these guys. We're able to activate King Tower with this placement of the tornado. If you don't know, now you know. It feels amazing. And I'm going to P.E.K.K.A. immediately on top of the electric giant. I love playing against all these tank decks. I can't believe they just came out of the woodwork. I never saw them before. And it feels like Christmas. We are getting an endless supply of presents, whether it's an Electro Dragon, Electro Giant, or a Golem deck. I feel like we're just going to get them all. We get all the Pokemon today. So maybe we can get a Mega Minion here. That would also be fantastic. If you Mega Minion and we freeze. Yep, that's exactly what we're aiming for, bro. Now the Electro Dragon is going to be able to chain onto all of your stuff, eliminate all of your air answers. And if you get one piggy, it's not too bad. You're going to have no Mega Minion, no Mother Witch, and no counter besides Lightning and Goblin Cage. Can we get a Goblin Cage out of him if we go in for a Lumberjack here? And then balloon the other side? No, nah, I want to do it same lane. So we're going to balloon here, and maybe he goes in for a Goblin Cage in the middle at that exact moment. Will the balloon bypass? It will not. Oh, will the Lumberjack kill it in time, though? Oh, let's go, Lumberjack. That's what we like to see. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's going to be one hit. It could have been two if we were really wilded out here. Maybe we peck at the river because we're up a lot of elixir. You know what? This is the most motivational P.E.K.K.A. you've ever seen. She is about to pounce on our opponent's territory. Oh, uh, wait. The tornado's out of cycle. I can just Inferno Dragon and Melty Electro uh, Giant. You guys haven't done this before. It's, it's pretty nice. Inferno Dragon does melt Electro Giants if they don't have a way of uh, resetting it and pulling it with the tornado. So it's important to do if you guys can do it. I'm going to freeze here just to make sure the Inferno Dragon doesn't get turned into a pig. We're going to squelch all of his air counters. Yo, why are you going Dark Prince there? That, that's a huge overcommitment. That's a lot of elixir that you just spent, bro. You're going to lose the Dark Prince? The Inferno Dragon melted a Mega Minion, Mother Witch, and <laughs> somehow got a Dark Prince in there, too. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to tornado that away so then you can't stop me. Oh! Tell me that wasn't filthy, guys! It could have been better if I was a little bit better and made sure that I froze the King Tower, but it didn't matter. Wow, that tornado was fire. I can't believe we pulled the Mega Minion to our side of the map, and then he had no air counter. That prediction was insane, guys. Let's go. We're making plays, we're making moves, and we are surely securing Ws. GG, well played, and peace out, buddy. It was a pleasure playing against you, and I'm so glad to take all of your trophies. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have an awesome rest of your day.